Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vibe Me, and today I'm going to show you how to add and enable HD packs for your NES games for the Musin Core for RetroArch on Xbox Dev Mode. If you want to find all the HD packs available, what you could do is join my Discord. And once you're in the Discord, head down to the bottom where you could find the RetroArch category. And then from here, you should see the NES Musin HD packs. And from there, you could find the zip that contains multiple HD packs for this core. All right, bet. And if you did go and get the HD packs, it should look exactly like this. And then what we're gonna do before we actually go into the tutorial is make sure to bring up your games folder that contains your NES games. And now for the HD packs to actually load properly, what you need to make sure is that the name of your game is the exact same name of your texture pack. So for mine, I'm just going to head over to my Castlevania with the parentheses with the E. Head over, go to rename, and I'm just going to copy the name. Go to the HD pack and rename this to exactly what my game is named. And then for all the other ones, you should do the same. For this example, I'm just going to be doing Castlevania. So we're going to go straight into the next part. Now, once you have changed the names of the texture packs to match the ones of your actual game, what you want to do is make sure to go back, highlight the actual texture pack. And what you want to do is add to archive. Just a little quick tip for those who are actually adding this to the RetroArch folder on their USB. What you would do is you do not need to archive it. You could just drag and drop it into the system folder as is. The reason for zipping it up is if you're adding it through the access portal, Instead of individually adding the files, you could get it to extract the zip for you. So just letting you guys know. And you want to archive format it as a zip and then click on OK. Give it some time. And then now that we have our HD packs formatted as a zip, we change the names of the packs to the ones to match our games. Now we're going to fully be able to add this into our RetroArch system folder. And what we're going to do is open up the access portal for xbox i bet once we get to the access portal what you're going to do is on the left side you should see file explorer make sure to click on this head over to the local app data look for your retro arc click on local state now if your local state shows nothing like this, what you want to do is make sure to go on your Xbox and open up RetroArch. I'm going to do this right now. RetroArch is open on my Xbox, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this to go back. I'm going to go right into the local state again. And now you should see that the local state is now appearing. So for those who end up not having anything show up for their local state, please make sure to open the app on your Xbox, leave it on, and then go right back to the access portal. And then you should be able to see your files. All right, now that we're here, what you want to do is go down to the system folder. And then once we're at the system folder, what you want to do is click on choose file. You want to look for that new zip archive that we have created with the HD packs. Click on this and click open. Now what you want to do is right next to it, click on upload. You should get a pop up on top asking to extract zip file contents to this directory. Click on OK and that'll give it some time. And then once that's finished, what you're going to do is go back onto your Xbox and we're going to go right onto RetroArch and we're going to enable the HD pack. I bet once we have RetroArch opened up, all you want to do is go into your local content, look for any of your NES games that you want to do this for. For me, I'm going to do Castlevania. Go to Load Archive. And then for the core, you want to make sure to look for NES Famicom Messin. Click on this and let it load. Once it loads, you want to press start and select at the same time to open up the quick menu. Head down to core options. And in the middle of the screen, you should enable HD packs right here. And then once you do that, go all the way back to the top and make sure to save your game option. And then once you do that, you can play your game and you're pretty much good to go. Now start your game to make sure your HD pack has loaded. And just like that, that's about it. Now you know how to add your HD packs and enable them for the RetroArch Messing Core on Xbox. And I hope you enjoy it. If you need any help or any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and like for more videos. Hope you guys have a great one.